I've been studying the game of golf, and um, I really like the game of golf. Like it's a you know a distinguished gentleman sport. So today I'm gonna go on my way to the uh, PGA Super Golf Store to get fitted for some new golf clubs. I want to bring you guys along with me. So stay tuned. This video is for all the beginners and the amateurs, and you know the novice. If you want to play golf, if you into golf, if you you know like golf. I'm gonna show you guys how to go in and get a beginner set to an intermediate golf set and to get fitted for some golf clubs and how it's done. Hey, how are you? So we are in the PGA tour store, so we're gonna get fitted for some new clubs today. And I want you guys to come along with us while we get fitted for some golf clubs and some golf gear. Oh, they got Oakleys. Of course, this, this is a distinguished gentleman's sport. So, those of you that know me, this is my brand here. I'm an Oakley fanatic. I am an Oakley fanatic. Titleist. Some cool golf hats. So, we're in the PGA store. I'm here today to get me some new clubs, get fitted for like a whole set of new clubs, and get me a new bag. So you guys stay tuned. We're just walking around now looking and get fitted for some new clubs, a couple drivers. We're one good solid driver. <coughs> they also have for little kids. This is so dope. I gotta get my son Noble into it. I would love for him to. Well, that's dope. Noble. So cute. You should have all of them fit. Fit it, yes. Okay, so guys, you stay tuned. We are in here, and I see some really cool bags and club sets. That's, oh, that's that new Millions Green right here. I can definitely go for this. I want to bring them and show my audience how it is for the beginning. All right. To come in and get fitted for golf clubs. Okay. And actually, what is the process? Okay. And I, I actually want to get fitted for yourself. Yes. Okay. So, and so put together a nice bag. Okay. I'm a beginner golfer. I know the game, but I want I want to really get further. Into it. Yes. Okay. All right. So first thing I'd say when you're a beginner, then I would try to fit you into clubs that's going to be a little bit more easier for you. to Okay. And that's going to be that forgiveness club. Yes. All right. So any beginner that would come in. First thing we do is look at golf. I want to look at your golf. Okay. But I know you're going to tell me one thing. It's totally different hitting in here and then hitting out on the drive. Okay. Okay. So it's definitely different situations altogether. So my first thing is, I would pick up talk about brands. What brands do you feel comfortable with? Have you done any homework on brands? And then you might say, No, I haven't. Then I would pick up brands that I feel that a lot of my beginners start off with. Callaway. Yes, King. Yes. Uh, Titleist. Titleist is okay, but it's a little bit echelon, just more of an expensive club. Okay. Okay, so if you look at a set of clubs for through pitch wedge with Titleist, you're looking at almost 1200 mm. But then that depends on the shafts. If you go graphite, it could be a little bit more. Okay. All right? Okay. So there's a steel shaft and a graphite shaft. So there's, there's two Callaway. I, I like Callaway. You like Callaway? Yes. So let's, let's start right in here then. Uh, this is, let's go over to Callaway. Okay. So you guys come along. We're going to... You're gonna get us fitted for some clubs and the whole, you know, thing. Some Callaway clubs. The first thing I would do is talk to you. Come on now, what's the Okay. 
so let's do I'm gonna do Callaway Rogue X. It's very forgiving. I would put beginners in this club for sure. Okay. Um, but this material is it's nothing. The most important is your shaft. It's the shaft. It's the shaft because okay. we're looking at speed. What kind of speed do you have? So if I put you in a stiff shaft, that would mean that you have a really fast swing. Okay. Okay. The average golf swing is average between 85 RPMs to maybe 120 as far as irons are concerned. Okay. And then it changes with the driver. Then it starts off like 90 to about 130. Okay, so you're looking the at the pros. Have a flex you have in flex, the shaft, yes. right? Yes, it's a longer shaft. Yes, and it's got a little bit of flexibility on the strap like So yes. Okay. So you're looking at the pros. They they normally swing in that 120 to 130 miles an hour. Okay. You do have some amateurs that can swing that way, but on average, that's what a golfer is looking at. Okay. All right. So I'm going to have to put you the right one here. And what is your name, sir? I'm sorry. My name is Mike. Mike, Co they're I'm called done. Coach Mike. Coach Mike. Coach nice Mike. to meet you, yes, Coach nice Mike. You. I'm yes. Don Millions. YouTube, this is Coach Mike. He's a great, we starting off to a good start. So you guys stay tuned. We get fitted into some golf clubs, uh, to a whole set. Mm -hmm. And he's giving me education on how to start, how to build a solid foundation. So you guys stay tuned. This is Coach Mike, and he's going to be our host for the day. All right. All right. Thank you. Thank so you. let's go with... when you do go to a place like the PGA Superstore that has a fitting, we can interchange the shaft for you. Oh, really? Okay. Yes. Okay. Awesome. So I'm going to start you off with this shaft right here. Okay. It's got about 100 grams in it, but you should be able to swing that as far as that's concerned. Let's get you set up right in here. Lights on, you're good to go. My back green light is on? Yes. Mm -hmm. You want a glove or you feel good without it? I feel good without it. All right. I want you on the balls instead of on the balls. Heels. Okay. Mm -hmm. But I'd rather see you fall into your swing. That's why you miss that one. Because you're sitting back and then when you take it back, sometimes you fall back. I want you to fall into it. And then, hold it right here. Step back. You see? You gotta give his arms. This is your V. This is your motor. You get that club up to the top of your back swing. You want all those arms to come to it. Yes, you want that. All right? So I can tell by the way you're gripping that club that you're strangling. Okay. So let me just say, on a scale of one to five, and five being the strongest, 
I need this hand to be a four or five, this to be a three or four. Because when you start straining, you get tension in your arms, and you're not able to extend through the swing. Yeah, there you go. Hitting down. Almost. It's all right. Hope you guys are getting your lessons as well as I am. <laughs> Thanks to Coach Mike. Coach Mike, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, absolutely. See, I love the game of golf. Being that I love it so much, I've tried and went and embarrassed myself. So I said, you know what? I got to go into the store and fit it and get some proper coaching. Yes. So you guys stay tuned. Mm -hmm. All right, YouTube, the golf lessons was great. Uh, as you saw in the video before, we had to cut it short, but now we are at Papa Do's. We're about to get some lunch. Yeah, let's go eat. Papa Do's, so come along with us while we eat. Peace. <laughs> guys take a load off relax have lunch with us so there you go guys the papa dose oysters and the swamp thing. swamp thing so we're about to smash this don't eat anything lunch, else guys. no we're good that is much guys that pasta look amazing And I am full. We're coming out of Papa Do's. We got some dessert for later. I am full, let me tell you, I'm full. When I say I'm full, I'm stuffed. We had a good day, good lunch. So, on to continue to run our errands for the day. If you like what you're seeing, hit the thumbs up button, do me a bigger favor, subscribe to the channel. <sighs> what a good lunch on this hump day. When I tell you I'm stuffed, I am full. 
full, full. So, stay tuned. We got more errands to run. Peace. All right, YouTube. I am in the humidor, and we're getting some cigars for this evening. Been a long day today, and now I'm in the humidor at the local cigar shop. I'm a Rocky Patel or a Nat Sherman guy. I like the Cohibas, some of the Dividoffs, but I'm going for an evening cigar, Maduro. So you guys stay tuned. It's been a busy day today. Rocky Patel have a good documentary out that you guys can go check out and see. They take you behind the scenes inside of their factory in Nicaragua, and they show you how they're all handmade and rolled, like literally handmade, no machines with this company here. But Rocket Patels is a good company. So any of the cigar smokers out there, you guys should check these, check this brand out. Really good smoke. Big Johnny. <laughs> good Rocket Patels. These right here, the decades, these are some good cigars as well. The Rocket Patel decades, guys. You want a good smoke, the Rocket Patel Decades. Very good smokes. You want this? Yeah, yeah. You want the best one? You want the dark leaf one, right? Yeah, I like Maduro's for the evening. Hey guys, if you're gonna smoke a light cigar, that'll be for daytime. You want a darker cigar, it's called a Maduro. You smoke that in the evening after dinner, or you know, when it's time to relax and you're winding down over a good cognac or scotch. I'm gonna put y'all boys on this cigar game now. Cigars and golf. Stay tuned. New Millions Incorporated, New Millions Films. We coming full go with these vlogs. It's 2019. It's the end of February, but guess what? It's still the new year. 2019, we dialing up. It's going to be a great year. And we'll probably end the vlog here in the cigar shop. So thank you guys for watching. And again, do me a bigger favor and just subscribe to the channel. Hit that thumbs up.